If two angles are vertical angles, what relationship exists between them? Inequality. Being supplementary. Congruency. Being complementary. Being adjacent. If two angles are vertical angles, the relationship that exists between them is congruency. This means that the angles have equal measures. Vertical angles are always congruent due to their position. They are formed by the intersection of two lines, creating opposite angles with equal measures. This geometric property is a result of the angles sharing a common vertex and being on opposite sides of the intersecting lines, leading to their equal measures. What is half a percent equivalent to? 0 0.05, 0 0.1 half, 0 0.001 half, 0 0.005, 0 0.5. To find what half a percent is equivalent to, we need to express it as a decimal. A percent means per hundred, so one half can be written as half a percent is equal to one half times one slash one hundred. Calculating this is equal to one slash two hundred. Now, converting one slash two hundred to a decimal is equal to zero point zero zero five. So, half a percent is equivalent to zero point zero zero five. Three. A tank was one half full of water. After 420 gallons had been taken out, it was one eighth full. Find the capacity of the tank? 1,680 gallons. 1,260 gallons. 1,110 gallons. 840 gallons. 1,120 gallons. Let's denote the capacity of the tank by C gallons. When the tank is one half full, it contains C over two gallons of water. After 420 gallons are taken out, the tank is one eight full, which means it contains C over eight gallons of water. We can set up the following equation to find C. C over two minus 420 equals C over eight. First, let's eliminate the fractions by multiplying every term by eight. 8 times C over 2 minus 8 times 420 equals 8 times C over 8. Simplifying, we get 4C minus 3360 is equal to C. Subtract C from both sides. 4C minus C is equal to 3360. This simplifies to 3C is equal to 3360. Divide both sides by 3. C equals 3,360 divided by 3 is equal to 1,120. So, the capacity of the tank is 1,120 gallons. Which of the following is heavier than 5 kilos of steel rod, 6 pounds of galvanized iron, 3 kilograms of iron bars, 10 pounds of gold bars, 5 pounds of pele, 6 kilograms of cotton balls, the item that is heavier than 5 kilograms of steel rod is 6 kilograms of cotton balls. 5. The square root of 25 times the square root of 81 is none of these. 90, 120, 45, 60. The square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 81 is 9. Therefore, 5 times 9 is equal to 45. Which part of a right angle is an angular degree? 1 9, 1 60, 1 45, 1 4th, 1 90. The fraction that corresponds to 1 degree is 190. Which of the following is smaller than 0 0.0031, 0 0.021, 0 0.004? 0 0 0.00092, 0 0.012, 0 0.006. The number that is smaller than 0.0031 is 0 0.00092. Which of these fractions is equal to 3 quarters? 2132, 2128, 1220, 916, 1516. Simplify each choices. 21 over 28. Divide both numerator and denominator by 7. 
it is equal to three quarters. When Mr. Ramos died, one third of his estate was given to charity and one half of the remainder to each of his two sons. If each son received 150,000 pesos, what was the value of his estate? Let's denote the total value of Mr. Ramos's estate by E. 130 goes to charity. Remaining estate is equal to E minus 1 third E is equal to 2 third E. Each son share one half of the remainder. Since each son received 150,000 pesos, the total amount received by the two sons is 2 times 150,000 is equal to 300,000. This amount is equal to the remaining estate. Two-thirds E is equal to 300,000. To solve for E, E is equal to 3 times 300,000 divided by 2. This is equal to 450,000. What is a trapezoid? Quadrilateral. Rhombus. Duodecagon. Parallelogram. Decagon. A trapezoid, or trapezium in British English, is defined as a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. Therefore, the correct answer is quadrilateral. When a number is added to its additive inverse, what is the sum equal to? The negative of number. The number itself, 10, 1, 0. The additive inverse of a number x is negative x. Adding x and negative x gives zero. Therefore, the sum is equal to zero. If 30% of a number is 12.6, find the number 42, 45, 43, 38, 40. To find the number, let's denote the number by x. Given that 30% of x is 12.6, we can write the equation. 0 0.30 times x is equal to 12.60. To solve for x, divide both sides of the equation by 0.30x is equal to 12.6 divided by 0.30. Calculation this x is equal to 42. What kind of angle is inscribed in a semicircle? Acute angle. Obtuse angle. Reflex angle. Right angle. Straight angle. An angle inscribed in a semicircle is always a right angle. This is a consequence of the inscribed angle theorem, which states that an angle inscribed in a semicircle is a right angle, 90 degrees. Therefore, the correct answer is right angle. Alice has a horse and a carabao in the farm. The horse is two-thirds as old as the carabao. The difference between their ages is four years. How old is the carabao? Twelve years. Sixteen years. None of these. Six years. Ten years. Let's denote the age of the carabao by C and the age of the horse by H. Given that H is equal to 2 thirds C and C minus H is equal to 4, we can substitute the expression for H into the second equation. C minus 2 thirds C is equal to 4. So, it is now 1 third C is equal to 4. Solve for C. C is equal to 4 times 3. Therefore, C is equal to 12. So, the carabao is 12 years old. What is 2 to the power of negative 1 equal to? 2, minus 2, minus 1.2, 1 half, minus 1 half. To find the value of 2 to the power of negative 1, 
We use the property of exponents that states a to the power of negative n is equal to 1 over a to the power of n. Therefore, 2 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 1, or is equal to 1 half. What is 111% equal to? 1.11, 0 .0111, 0 .111, 111, 11.1. .1. To convert 111% to a decimal, we divide by 100. 111% is equal to 111 over 100 which is equal to 1.11. So, 111% is equal to 1.11. What is the boiling point in Fahrenheit scale? 112 degrees. 100 degrees. 212 degrees. 189 degrees. 200 degrees. The boiling point of water on the Fahrenheit scale is 212 degrees. What is the geometric term for a line that has but one point in common with a circle? Transversal, tangent, secant, diameter, chord. The geometric term for a line that has but one point in common with a circle is a tangent. Two numbers are reciprocals of each other. One number is 16 times as large as the other. What are the two numbers? 8 and 16. 6 and 1 quarter. 16 and 1 quarter. None of these. 4 and 1 quarter. Let's denote the two numbers by x and 1 slash x. Given that one number is 16 times as large as the other, we have x is equal to 16 times 1 slash x. Solving for x, x squared is equal to 16. x is equal to square root of 16. x is equal to 4. So the two numbers are 4 and 1 fourth. 10 cats caught 10 rats in 10 seconds. How many cats are required to catch 100 rats in 100 seconds? 10, 30, 20, 50, 100. The problem states that 10 cats can catch 10 rats in 10 seconds. This implies that each cat catches one rat in 10 seconds. Now, we need to determine how many cats are required to catch 100 rats in 100 seconds. Given that each cat catches one rat in 10 seconds, each cat will catch 10 rats in 100 seconds, since 100 seconds is 10 times longer than 10 seconds. Therefore, if each cat can catch 10 rats in 100 seconds, to catch 100 rats in 100 seconds, we need 100 rats all over 10 rats per cat equals 10 cats. So, the number of cats required to catch 100 rats in 100 seconds is 10.